Hello everyone. Good morning. I am Dr. Javedik Pal Khokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. Continuing with the 29th lecture on the topic of autopsy. And in this lecture, I will be discussing the embalming of dead body. The learning objectives will be that we will learn in this lecture what is embalming, what is the principle used in embalming, and what are various methods which are used. And in routine, two methods, arterial and trochoir methods, they are used and what are they? We will learn that. So embalming is a procedure for the preservation of dead bodies with the introduction of certain embalming fluids. And this is usually on the request of the relatives or the state. If the body has to be kept for a certain period of time or have to be shifted to other country by air, rail or ship. In USA, it is routine to embalm the dead body, but in our country, it is upon the request of relatives. So the objectives and advantages of embalming. Number one, the main objective and advantage is preservation to prevent putrefaction. And number two, it preserves the features of the dead body to make identification possible. Number three, it is the requirement of transporting agency that the body should be embalmed before being transported within the country or outside the country. Number four, for teaching, or academic purposes. Equipment, equipments which are used, a large size syringe, trocar and cannula, cotton rolls, scalpel and scissors, and the chemicals which are required for embalming Usually it is for formalin, about two pounds, carbolic acid, two pounds, glycerine, two pounds, methylated spirit, two pounds, glycerol, 2.5 liters. So this is the routine combination of fluids which is used in our country, that is Pakistan. However, the exact formula of the commercially marketed embalming fluid is not known as it is a trade secret and they do not disclose it. However, various preparations are being used and the composition which as I have told you, this is used in our country and it is not of fixed reagents. The above mentioned composition is the one which is being used in our country, as I have told you. So the procedure, two different procedures are used, but both can be applied on the same body. Number one is the arterial method and number two is the trocar method. The principal is that whatever the procedure is adopted, the principle is we simply replace the blood in the vessels and viscera by the embalming fluid. In arterial method, this is usually used in intact bodies. The embalming fluid is introduced into an artery till it start coming through opposite vein. The procedure is separately adopted in head, neck, 
upper and lower limbs and abdomen and thorax in head and neck both the external and internal carotid vessels are perfused similarly in other regions larger vessels are selected now in trocar method this method is used for the cavities chest and abdomen trocar is introduced into the abdominal wall and the fluid present in the hollow viscera is replaced by the embalming fluid in intact bodies both the arterial and the trocar method should be applied then embalming on dissected bodies sometimes it is required to embalm a dissected body after autopsy however it is very difficult to embalm a dissected body because during whole body has been dissected out and there is no integrity of the vessel so the embalming fluid cannot be retained in the vessels and it will flow out so in order to have a dissected body embalmed large cotton bags are soaked in embalming fluid and are placed in the body cavities and the cotton should be heavily soaked with embalming fluid then the body should be finely stitched and the arterial method is used for embalming the limbs head and neck so summary of this lecture is that we have learned what is embalming what is the principle which is used and what are various various methods which are used and what is meant by trocar and cannula methods thank you very much this is all about embalming take care in a la face if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name dr javed ikbal kokhar thank you very much